what is up everybody so it is friday morning definitely got a little bit late start uh later than i wanted to but got a couple things going on today gonna get some a uh, little bit of work done on this thing uh, i need to kind of just do a pre-race check right go over everything certain common bolts uh, make sure everything's tight nothing's loose <clears throat> i'm not gonna die and uh, i actually have to add a ground strap too which is where is it uh well it's around here somewhere but i have to add a ground strap from the block to the frame and i know i had it in my hand not too long ago i guess one of these drawers somewhere maybe not oh well i'll have to find it i know it's it can't be far because i i did see it not too long ago but anyway i'm gonna go get some gas my car is pretty much empty so uh need to grab these bad boys oh, i can't grab all of them and then I figured this would be a perfect time to go over the tow rig. Uh, this is my Duramax, old dirty, uh, 07, I think it's got 325,000 miles on it, uh, somewhere around there, which if my calculations are correct, I need to change the oil, which I did just buy the other day. Oh nice, I forgot about those. So. A buddy of mine gave me a couple of three inch uh, cat back mid sections, I guess. This is from the, the mid pipe to where the mufflers would connect. He didn't have any mufflers, but uh, I can't remember if my cat back is three inches or two and a half. So I haven't had a chance to get the car in the lift and really see what it is. But anywhere, old Betty here, she gets the job done. She, uh, I have, you know, small minor maintenance issues. Transmission had a leak a little while ago because I blew out the gasket uh, between the transfer case and the transmission. Um, and uh, apparently all the bolts had come loose, so I don't know why. I also noticed or I didn't notice, but my buddy did when he was down there doing it. I didn't have time to work on it. Uh, that the the trans mount was gone. He said it, it's just kind of sitting there. And the truck does have a little bit of vibration. Oh, crap. The truck has a little bit of vibration when you're driving it down the road, but not really too bad. Biggest thing that it goes through. I've only replaced one once, but I think I might have to replace it again uh, is the uh, wheel bearings. I mean, it's, it is lifted. It's got a six inch lift and it's got those big 20 by 10s or 20, 20 by 12s. So it puts a lot of stress on them. But uh, I'm gonna go to Wawa, which is about 20 minutes away. It's the closest E85 station to my house. And um, then from there, go to Best Buy. I need some GoPro equipment. I, uh, I'm actually holding my GoPro right now by the clip that clips into one of the um, <laughs> uh, fasteners, hardeners, whatever. I don't know what they're called, but I need to get a handle. Uh, I'm actually gonna get another GoPro and a couple other materials, so. Hey babe. Yeah. I am leaving. See ya. Love you. Thank you. Oh, uh, your friend is here. Okay, cool. Okay. All right, well, my wife had someone coming over. I don't really know who it is. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so I am in the, in the Duramax. Uh, gonna go get gas, because it's me 85. Fortunately, unfortunately, the 
closest Z85 station is about 20 minutes away, which actually isn't too bad. I mean, some people got to drive freaking almost an hour to get it. But I do not. A time slip right here. Since I take my truck often and trailer my car, a lot of my time slips end up in this little cubby hole. Let's see what, let's see what I ran on this one. This is a 10 3 at 140. Go ahead, get that in there. Didn't really have a great 60 foot that run. And last time I was at the track, the car would hesitate a little bit. And once I was done with my run, I'd come around the, the little lane to get my slip. And you know, a lot of people get on their car right then. And, and I was doing the same thing just to kind of see, you know, what is, what is this car doing? And I've had some weird finicky issues. I think, you know, loose connection or ground issue. I really had a big voltage issue for a while. And I think it's almost completely resolved, but not fully, which is why I'm adding that ground strap today. Anyway, today is test and tune. Um, and after I add that ground strap, as long as the weather holds up, which it's, it's looking pretty, uh, pretty slim, um, I am going to go bring my car down to the track and get some testing in on this smaller pulley. Uh, I'm curious to see the difference. I think I think it you know it's not going to really hurt it. I do have a built motor. Uh, it, it runs stock. I have stock compression pistons in it, so I think it's neat. I want to say 8.9 to one, or maybe 8.8 8 to one. It's pretty low for whatever came from the factory and the other Cobras. Um, so they're just aftermarket JE pistons. <coughs> I think that will help it, to be honest. I think I think if I can cram more boost into it and, uh, you know, because the motor really wakes up up top. Uh, at the big end of the track is where the, the car really shines, which is odd for a blower car, right? Because you know, especially the, the PD blower, it has so much bottom end torque and uh, out of the hole, it makes a ton of power, but that's where I'm really struggling. And I know it's probably me, uh, but I'm gonna try and do a couple different things. I'm gonna try and launch it a little bit higher. And again, I, I went from, you know, people that have watched my past videos, I had a Gen 2 on the car and I went to a Gen 3, a 265. And I know, I, although it hasn't been on the dyno, I know I can feel it's picked up a ton of power because all across the board, the car feels way faster and it just feels like a completely different car. So I haven't had enough seat time on the Gen 3 to really dial it in like I did on the Gen 2. And on the Gen 2, I really only had like two months, but I went to the track like every week um, and I really got it dialed in. That's what I, I raced FL2K and when I went there, I had a Gen 2 on it. Um, so we'll see. Also, uh, I guess I'll talk a little bit about my truck since that's what I'm in. So this is an 07. 2,500. Uh, ooh, I thought I had 325,000 miles, which I said earlier, but I actually have 333,000 miles. So I know I am due for an oil change now based on the last time I changed it. Um, I got pretty much everything that I want done to the truck done. Uh, funny story, I had an 03 Z06 that I mentioned in one of my other videos, and I traded it for this truck. So bolt-ons on my truck, I have an AFE intake, I have an AFE turbo back exhaust, I have a, an air dog to lift pump and fuel system, I have an EFI live tuner, I have you know five different tunes all ranging from stock to kind of like a, I guess a kill mode. Uh, on the all-out mode, it makes about 1,200 foot-pounds of torque and roughly 600 horsepower. Uh, so it's pretty fun. I ran it up the track one time and I launched it four high and I ran a 13 one at 101, which doesn't sound that impressive, but the truck weighs like 8,000 pounds. And uh, it, it's pretty awesome to be able to drop someone's jaw 
show that like yeah this truck especially on a lot off the line on the street i can pull on almost anything <coughs> unless it's a gtr or something like that then it's not happening but and the best part about it is when i traded the z06 for it everything i just said was already done i haven't really done anything to the truck which is rare because most people like myself once they get a vehicle right they'll just dive right in they'll start they'll start doing stuff to it but this truck i mean to be honest it had everything that i wanted done it had a touchscreen radio uh the only thing that it didn't have you know i like the hideaway subs the slim ones and he took that out when he when he sold it to me and he also took gooseneck he had a gooseneck hitch in the back and uh from uh BMW or B H or whoever makes it. And at the time I was like, yeah, sure, man, take it. I don't really care. Uh, but looking back, I've had the opportunity to get a couple of gooseneck trailers and I couldn't because I didn't have that hitch. And I realized they're kind of a lot more expensive than I than I uh, realized when he took it. So would have probably just gave him the money to keep it in there if I had if I had known I would have used it. <laughs> but yeah, the truck's awesome. I like it. Um, you know, I've contemplated getting a newer truck, maybe like a gas truck, because you know the diesel's cool, but yeah, you know, they're kind of expensive to drive, right? The fuel's a little costly. The maintenance is a little bit more expensive. Uh, gas mileage isn't terrible. I mean, let me see what I'm getting right now. Average I get in the city is like 13 and a half, and I drive city to work all the time. I also do not drive it very mildly. I, I definitely put my foot into it a lot. I mean, it's fun. <laughs> uh, right now on the highway, I'm getting, oh, I'm also in the kill mode. Whoops, that would explain a lot. Uh, so right now on the highway, Literally just now, my service tire monitor system, system light came on, which has never happened. So I don't know if one of my sensors went bad or if I have a flat tire. Let's find out. Oh, there we go. Left front 53 PSI, right front 53 PSI. Oh, right rear. It says right rear is uh, not reading anything. So I am assuming that that thing has gone bad. Or I have a, let's see if I can adjust my mirror. Doesn't feel like I have a flat tire. Huh? Well, it must've just went bad. That sucks. It's always right when you're talking about your car, right? Kind of trying to brag on it, and then it's like, oh, what's that? Did you like me? No, 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 no. I'm going to make you remember why I'm a pain in the ass. Well, that sucks. Anyway, on the, in the highway, in my, I wouldn't say stock tune, I always drive it in the, I would say, like, just mild tune, uh, middle of the road. Uh, on the highway, I get about 20, uh, depending on how fast I'm going, right? If I'm going like 65, I get anywhere between 20 to 21 and a half. But if I, as soon as I get to like 70 and above, it, it just starts dropping, right? It's not the most aerodynamic thing in the world, and it's lifted, so I got a lot of drag. But, um, yeah, other than that, uh, it's pretty cool. So, other than that, uh, I'll gotta add some footage
Finally home after getting some gas. Took a little bit longer than I thought. Traffic kind of sucks. Holiday season, you know? But 15 gallons, and I'm sure my car is gonna take every bit of it. Oh man. Unfortunately though, I don't know if testing tune's gonna happen today because it's currently drizzling right now. I just wanna get the fuel out of my truck before I go to the group lunch with everybody. Oh man, well, after group lunch, I'll go ahead and work on the car. Kind of go over some uh, pre-race inspection stuff, uh, at least stuff that I look at. I'm sure there's, everyone's got their own thing, but if you're not familiar with the track or you don't track your car often, might be good. Uh, to see what uh, some common things are, right? You obviously want to go over all your lug nuts, make sure everything's torqued down. Want to make sure that <clears throat> nothing's loose pulley-wise, or want to make sure tensioner is good, belt's not frayed or ripped or going to shred on you. General stuff like that. So we'll get to it. doing everything today working on the car um, loaded it up went to Orlando Speed World and they had posted on their Facebook that they were good to go for racing and I got there and about a mile from the track it was raining and I think I had realized at that point this is probably not gonna happen so 
I checked in and as she's putting this on my hand, she's like, yeah, you know, they canceled it, right? I'm like, yeah, I just wanted to see if maybe I could get the, uh, my tech inspection done for the weekend, but they had actually already closed that up too. However, I did get this cool Hoonigan hat. So uh, I guess I was one of the first X amount of people that came in to get it. So, uh, it kind of sucked Went out there. I, I didn't get to do any testing, so I don't think they're going to do any testing now. I think tomorrow, Tomorrow's schedule will remain the same, and tomorrow is supposed to be gorgeous. So I'm going to wake up early. I'm going to grab some ice for the uh, air-to-water intercooler, and I'm going to uh, head to the track. It's going to be my wife and I, and she's she's the pit crew. And uh, this little guy, unfortunately, is going to have to stay home. Let me show you who is annoying me right now. Look at this little guy. What are you doing? Well... Um, hopefully you liked the video. This is my first one that I've edited. So obviously it's not perfect and I'm no pro, but give me some pointers and some tips, uh, what you'd like to see, what you liked, what you didn't like. And, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Awesome. Thank you guys. Bye.